Got it. So, um, so let's talk about, let's start with the probate piece. So obviously probate is, I heard somebody uh, told me that probate is when you file a lawsuit against yourself and uh, eat up all the, uh, eat up all the equity of your house. I'm going to use that. That's very well said. <laughs> um, and so, uh, but, but unfortunately when they have to do the probate, uh, they come to you. So what's a typical, what's the most common case that you see of probate coming to you? You know what? I just got one this morning, actually, from a realtor. I guess the broker referred her to me, and mom passed away just a couple of weeks ago, um, actually less than a week ago, and she didn't have a trust. She didn't have a will, and she has a property in California, so here we go. Honestly, you know, if I'm being really blunt, trust attorneys love those calls because we make most of our money in probate, but I, I don't enjoy those calls because... I don't want the family to have to go through probate. You know, I had to sort of go through the whole process and explain to them that, you know, you're not going to be able to do anything with this property for at least four, five, maybe as much as six months, depending on the court calendar. And I really don't like to have to share that. And then the expense, the public side of it is just all additive stressors and negative aspects to probate, you know, in California, we're the worst state in the entire country to go through our probate court system. That's another thing I'm very, you know, embarrassed sometimes to mention. So probate is when someone's assets are not properly under a trust. The confusion is, is that some people, because in other states, it's different than California. Right. There are other states that are similar to California, but a will alone does not protect your assets from probate. Okay. Biggest misconception by far, right? Huge. Yes. It's really, it's, yeah, it's a shame. Or, you know, the kid's calling and they're like, but I'm my mom's power of attorney. It's like, well, yeah. Yeah. that doesn't work after mom's passed. Right. Right. So, you know, I, I try to, I try to explain it like a, an umbrella or a bucket, <laughs> like your stuff has to go in this bucket. And then we create this trust plan that serves like as an umbrella protection over you and your assets. So it's not just about my assets right? I tell people, pray you pass away swiftly, and then it becomes someone else's burden, right? But if I drive home tonight, and I get slammed by a car, and I'm in a coma, I mean, have I put any instructions of how I want to be cared for? And, and, and you people think, oh, well, you know, your husband will take care of you, and, but that's, or your spouse will take care of you, but that's not true. And, you know, maybe that's not the best person for the job, right? You could be in a, a loveless, 20 year marriage and they might want to kill you your spouse so you know you might want to appoint your brother or your best friend you know a parent as your agent right. for health care and finances and stuff so the law says if you bill don't put a plan in place yourself we've got the plan for you and it's the it? stand in line <laughs> pay a lot of money plan <laughs> i call it the post office will handle your estate for you there you go they'd be even, glad to even, even better same... said with the same ruthless efficiency of mailing a package to the post office, they'll handle all your most intimate financial details and health details. Don't worry, the state of California has it under control. I mean, it's not like the state's burning down or energy's running out or we're being overrun with homelessness. The state's very well run, right? They're going to run oh, your yeah. house state as well as they do the state. 